Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to update the modified field and modified by values uh, post migration of the content. So in last video, we saw like how we can migrate the SharePoint items from one source SharePoint site which is in one tenant to the destination SharePoint site in another tenant. So we moved the file. So if I showed you, these were the source files which I moved into one of my destination file, uh, destination site. And the second part which we are going to talk about today is how to update this modified timestamp and modify by fields post migration or along the migration. So that we are going to talk about today. So I'll just go back to my existing workflow which we leveraged last time and we are going to add it the same workflow and we'll look at how we can update it using the send HTTP action with a validate item. So right now you can see these are get items we were creating items into apply to each into the destination side get files we were fetching files and creating files into the destination side so i'll just remove this additional activity of get items we are going to focus on updating the modified date and modified by field so it's fine we can just work with one of the either file or items so let's uh, let's stick to the files only so now i have this limited actions as get files and create files so along with that as soon as the file is created with the help of send http action validate item we are going to update the form values so for that i am just going to open my notepad which will give you the exact endpoint how to call the send http sharepoint action with this so it's api web list get by title your list name so list name is document library is also a list so once if we want to just update the properties to it then we can consider document library as a list also so get by title this document items and that's this will be the id of the file which just created so we'll update it and this validate update list item will will actually take the form values into the post body and will update them so just remember to have this endpoint so i'll just copy it so that we can start adding that send http activity send http action to sharepoint we'll create we'll try to bind this with our site so i'll just pick the site so as it's a site into destination so just remember to change the connection to the destination tenant and we can just pick the site where we want to make this HTTP send action request and change the method to post and paste the URI. I'll paste this URI in the description so that you can directly leverage. So you can bind this, you can change this get by title to the respective document library or list we wish to. And this item ID, I'm going to remove it for now. And this validate update list item is the actual endpoint. So these items have the parameter as item id so how to get the item id from the dynamic content you can pick the item id so over here it has started it started already giving us like create file this is the item id of the file with its thus just created so i'll just update that with this so with the uri we are good now in the body so this is the main part where we have to construct something so that we can update the form values so right now just skip this send HTTP action before that just add an action as compose so that we can do some compose actions and compose some string so that we can pass on this constructed JSON string to next send HTTP action as part of body. So what is that? I'll just open my notepad again and will guide you how to do that. So there is a JSON which we have which I have already written. So it's, it's having two dictionaries that is field name and editor. Editor means there is a modified by field. So this internal name is editor. And the field value, we have to pass the login name or the account name for the person whom you are going to update into the files update uh, the modified by value. So it's simple to construct it. This is nothing but the email address. And this part always remains the static into sharepoint with a login name so you can construct this string 
and in the field value because it's a it's a person people and group field so that's why you have to have the uh, again the the constructed uh, in a array format where we have this dictionary of key and the value value is this login name of this person so just remember to put the escape characters escape pass backward slash so that this can be considered as a valid json string format so i'll copy the same uh, format into the description so that you can directly leverage it you can directly copy and just change the email address of that desired person directly over here rather than thinking about the entire structure so this field name is editor for modified by and the other field which we wish to modify is the field name modified date so this modified date is nothing but the date and that date has to be formatted in a particular way so that it can be read by sharepoint while updating so it's month slash day and year so this we are going to copy entirely and paste into this compose action so that we can get a well formatted json while doing the send http action so i'll just remove it we'll construct it this modified field name from this expression so this one is pretty much hard coded value so whomever you want to wish to have the in the modified name you can create this string and then I have uh, binded with the field value of editor. So that's done. With the modified one, I wish to grab that from the file create date or modified date, the original file create date, modified date. So we are going to take help of dynamic content to construct this value. So over here, I'll take help of expression and expression I'll type in format date time and I'll bind that to this created dynamic created field value and then we'll change the format so i'll just select it go to dynamic content and we'll try to grab the create date time of my this file or you can fix this last modified one so this will also give us uh, that last modified value of the file and comma and then you can start def defining your string the format local string so i'll just so choose as mm dd and yyy this format and we can just click ok so this will format the date based on the date which is interpretable into the sharepoint uh, for updating this request so we have constructed our this compose action now is the time to use the output of compose into send http action so over here I can directly go to this dynamic content and choose this output which we constructed but this output would directly not work we have to bind that to the form values so this I'll just going to remove it and go, go back to my notepad and I'll just scroll down I'll paste this as well in the description body so that you can directly pick this up so this form values so this form values would pick the entire constructed JSON into the uh, which we did into the previous step just like this and be new document update is a boolean property which will uh, define whether we wish to create a new version of this once it's updated or we want to just update it to the default version so i'll just copy this and paste directly into the body of my send http action and we'll just remove this output and bind that output from our dynamic content from the previous step of compose action so now we have constructed this send http request to sharepoint and this uh, action or this request would be made for each and every file as soon as the migration process starts so we'll go to this apply to each get file content create file and after that it will update the compose action with this uh, mod editor name and with this uh, modified uh, date timestamp and then update the action so we'll just save it and we will run that manually and we'll clear the existing migrated files from our destination so that we can without any problem we should run it and we should see the uh, the old values or the modified values which are from the my original files date timestamp so i'll run this flow so our flow ran successfully and we can just go to our destination tenant just to check the files and I'll just do a refresh. 
so the files migrated and now you can see the modified field is the original date of the file it was created uh, into my sourced SharePoint site and the modified by is replaced with this person who is not the flow uh, who is not a person who is running the flow so that's a, how you can update this modified and uh, modified date fields while migration and this is applicable like whenever if you have a requirement to update the modified field then you can simply use this http action with this validate item update and with the form values and the b new document update boolean as false if you wish to create the new version or just update the existing version so this is how you can update it so that concludes our part two of how to update the modified date and modify by fields post migration so now in next video we are going to talk about like if we have multiple lists uh, which cannot be created manually or it's a cumbersome process to create a 10 list with 20 20 columns so we can we'll be just automating that using power automate again export the site structure the list structure and then import that entire list structure destination into the source uh, from the source to destination site so this again we are going to do with power automate so this uh, the last video would conclude uh, this entire topic of migrate across sp tenant so just stay tuned for my last video export and import sharepoint list that's it thank you for today and if you have any question then please do drop your comment thank you